Acadiana are remembering Thursday night's tragic events. A vigil just finishing up for all of the victims in downtown Lafayette. Our Carrie Beal has more on how the community is showing their support. <laughs> The sounds of music and prayers rang throughout Park Sans Souci for the two young lives lost. It could have been any one of us, any one of us, and that, you know, these young lives are going too soon. Many shared their memories of Jillian Johnson. She's had a very, very uh, strong presence about her and creative uh, presence um, and could tackle anything she took on. It was a vigil that brought this chaplain all the way from Alabama. People need hope uh, in time of crisis. They need hope in time of tragedy. And uh, nothing strikes at our heart more than something like this. And from AC Bro, a family member at a vigil yesterday says she was a child anyone would hope to have. Truly a good kid, and she's smart, and she's wonderful, and she adored her family. And um, she will be missed. But through the tears, hardship, and realization of those lives lost, vigil attendees say they can't let this shooting hold the community down. Come across a few strangers and friends who said they're going to stay in more and not go to the movies. And I told them, you know, if, if you do that, then that guy won, evil won that day. As one person wrote on a prayer flag, there is sadness over this event, but hope for the future. Yeah, good always prevails, you know. Carrie Beal reporting, KTC TV3. And thanks, Carrie. Stay right